It should be no secret from my other reviews that I'm a big fan of Hatsune Miku. I'm also a rather big fan of Good Smile Company and the figures that they release. So, why not put both together and check out today's figure, which is a 1 8 scale painted figure of Hatsune Miku. This is a bit of an older one. I got this on eBay recently with another figure that I had a little bit of a war to try to win. I got the two together. This is of course an authentic one, which is good because back in the day, Good Smile had a lot of problems with people trying to fake and re-release their figures. Now I don't actually have any statues from Good Smile, so this will be a first for me. So let's take a look inside and check out whether or not this figure is awesome or, well, will it show its age? Wow, look at how shiny it is in there. Look, you can see me. This is very straightforward and to the point. Inside the box, there is a base, which is nice, has some checkers on it, and it even has Hatsune Miku's branding right here. And other than that, we have the figure itself, which looks really nice and is incredibly lightweight and nice to hold in hand. And this is a rather satisfying piece here, being able to remove these for the first time. And I can say that I'm rather impressed with the quality of this figure. Miku here looks great, and especially the color of her hair is one of the things that really reaches out the most. Obviously enough, there is this amazing texture on her clothing, which makes it almost look kind of plasticky. But it is nice to see that differing texture from her skin to then her clothing. Normally, I wouldn't like this kind of a finish, but I will say that it just gives her a bit more of a latexy look on the clothing, which I guess is fair for something like this. The color here is probably the most important thing because Miku is so amazingly colorful from her little red tattoo to even her green nails and of course the rims of her stockings and boots, everything here is done in a great level of detail. Hilariously, there's even this tiny little DX printed on the hem of her skirt, which I thought was a QC issue, but I looked a little closer and was like, no, there's no way that that didn't mean to say that. One weird design choice I've noticed here is that on her stockings, there is these little tiny irises that I would assume are supposed to be reflections, but they're done in a way that makes that area always shining. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a reflection, and it is a stylistic choice, of course, but I will say it's just a little obtuse compared to the rest of it. Obviously enough, light is going to reflect off of this shiny material and create natural reflections. So I don't know if I see the need for this, but whatever, I'm not too upset about it. I like the base, it's simple, but there's a bit of texturing to it as well so that it doesn't just seem like a blank piece of plastic. And I think that is important because a lot of companies will just kind of say whatever and throw in a clear piece of plastic. Her hair is of course one of the most impressive things about this. The shape is just wonderful. It flows out so well and it creates a huge presence for Miku. Despite her being this tiny little girl, she has this huge hair which is spread out like wings almost. And the clothing is all incredibly well detailed. From the wrinkles in her sleeves and shirt, to the tie flowing down the front of it, to the hem of it with that little ruffly texture, as well as even the ruffles of the skirt, everything here is done to a very high standard. And this is what I come to expect from Good Smile. These details are all expertly crafted and they create such an amazing level of presence for Miku. There's one thing I wasn't quite expecting and it's that you can actually take her apart. If you unplug her waist and then remove her skirt, you'll see that she even has a pair of underwear. I guess if you're a pervert, you could go ahead and plug her back in. And now you have this super adorable pop idol just standing in her underwear and shirt and stockings. I, I mean, I guess some people are into that. I don't know if I see the need for it. I mean, I guess it's nice that they made it so that you could take her apart, but I'm one of the people that thinks that Miku need to be protected and not lusted after. Regardless, her details are nice. The panties are a little poorly painted. I will likely never see Miku looking like this again from this particular figure. So I don't really care that the details on the underwear are poorly painted or whatever, but whatever. But there is something seriously wrong with that butt. Now the box lists her as 1 8 scale, but if you don't speak in those terms, I'll show you that with a ruler next to her from the base to the top of her head, she is just about seven and a half inches tall, which is pretty nice. Next to a Reveltech, a Polynian, and a Figma, she towers over them quite well. She impressively towers over Kitaro. Mewtwo is even just a bit shorter than her, but that absolute unit of a Vegeta is quite a bit bigger. And in case you really wanted to see, that's just how much more taller he is. 
All in all, I'm rather satisfied with this figure. There's really not too much that I can pick out that I don't like. At the same time though, I will say that it's not quite the perfect Miku figure. She has minimal gaps, minimal production problems, and ultimately the design is rather satisfying to look at. The finish on the clothing is a little nasty to me. I don't really like the shine, but I will say that comparatively to her skin, it does look okay. But despite liking it, I won't say that this is my favorite Miku I've ever seen. This is a good baseline Miku, I'd say. If you just want a nice figure of Miku in her regular clothing, this is perfect for that alone. But without something incredibly special to push her over the edge, she just seems a bit plain. Regardless of that, I will say that she is nice, and she's worth, I'd say, about 50 bucks if you can get her for that. All in all, I am going to give this Hatsune Miku 1 8 scale painted figure from Good Smile a solid 7 out of 10. Like I said, without something incredibly special to push her over the edge, she feels a bit plain, but that's okay. I love Hatsune Miku, and I feel like I needed something of her regular outfit to represent her, and I'll probably be keeping this one around the house. But what do you guys think? Is this figure nice, or do you hate it? Why don't you drop a comment below and let me know what you think, and if you did enjoy my figure review here, please make sure to leave it a like. Hey, subscribe to the channel too because I'm constantly making new figure reviews, and I'm always working on new videos for you guys every week. With all that said, thank you so much for watching, have an amazing weekend, and keep on collecting.